Deep fakes are sophisticated manipulations of an image, video, or audio recording. Deep fakes have been around for years. For instance, Snapchat face changing filters take real time data and feed it into an algorithm to produce a synthetic image. However, as technology has evolved, deepfakes are now able to manipulate media so well that it's often hard to detect any manipulation at all. Through the use of artificial intelligence technology, deepfakes leverage existing audio and video of an individual, all while continuously learning how to produce a more convincing forgery. Deepfakes have been used to believably impersonate political figures. They can even be used to alter real-time or recorded media. These deceptions are so sophisticated that they fool the general public into thinking a person has said or done something they normally wouldn't do or say. Through the use of phishing and fake CEO email scams, cyber criminals have long tried to deceive businesses into giving up sensitive information. Often these scams are executed by using fraudulent email accounts, which in some cases can be pretty easy to spot. However, using deep fakes, cyber criminals now have the power to fool even the most careful and perceptive organizations. With deep fakes, cyber criminals can make a person in a video look and sound like a target company CEO tricking employees into wiring money or sharing sensitive data, among other compromising actions. Specifically, deepfakes can be used to execute social engineering scams or sway public opinion. Put simply, social engineering is when a malicious party takes advantage of human behavior to commit a crime. Social engineers can gain access to buildings, computer systems, and data simply by exploiting the weakest link in the security system, humans. For example, social engineers could steal sensitive documents and place key loggers on employees' computers at a bank, all while posing as fire inspectors from a nearby fire department. Social engineers don't need to have expert knowledge of a com company's computer network to break into a business. All it takes is one employee to give out a password or allow the social engineers access to an area they shouldn't be in. And because deepfake technology has become less expensive and more accessible, the prospect of tricking an employee to perform a malicious action through social engineering tactics is much easier. This is especially true given how realistic deepfakes can be. By deepfaking a company's CEO or figureheads, a malicious party can easily spread false or potentially damaging information. Through deepfakes, criminals can make key stakeholders say or do just about anything. They could have a CEO share false information, say or do socially unacceptable things, or attempt to influence consumer behavior. All of these actions can harm a business's reputation, sometimes irreparably. Given the potential harm of deepfakes, it's crucial that businesses are prepared to protect themselves. When it comes to protecting your business from deepfake schemes, consider three things. One, training your employees. To protect your organization against deepfakes, employee training is critical. Employees should be educated on deepfakes, including what they are and how they may be used against the business. Simply by raising awareness of deepfakes, employees will be better equipped to spot them, allowing your business to respond quickly and swiftly. Number two, utilizing detection software. While AI is used to make deepfakes better and more effective, it can also be used to help detect potential deepfakes. In fact, 
large corporations such as Microsoft use AI and similar software to detect and remove deepfake videos from their platforms. When it comes to deepfakes, the earlier you detect one, the better. This allows you to act quickly and reduce potential harm. Number three, establishing a response strategy. If and when your organization is the target of a deep fake driven attack, it's crucial to have a response strategy in place. Such a strategy should center around crisis mitigation. This includes outlining individual responsibilities, determining escalation practices, and communicating response best practices. For more information about various cyber exposures, contact Watkins Insurance Group today. We're here to help.